Guard will also be looking for boaters who are drunk while on the water. News 4's Marissa Perlman shows us the increased patrols for the long holiday weekend. I mean, nobody could truly be too safe. Solomon Lockhart with the U.S. Coast Guard has seen the waterfront grow during his two-year tenure stationed in Buffalo. He says he doesn't run into more problems over the 4th of July weekend, but with more people on the water now, he says being safe is a top priority. Always wear a life jacket, regardless if it's calm. If you're well swimmer, it does not matter. You should always be wearing a life jacket. We always do. Coast Guard is very proud knowing that we're very safe. We try to promote the same. And his crews will be scouting for anyone celebrating with alcohol and then choosing to get behind the wheel of a boat. What not to do when you're around alcohol and boating is operating a vessel you should not be drinking at all, period. Um, it's just as dangerous as if you're driving on the road. Most boaters are actually as or not as experienced as they are driving a car compared to operating a boat. So they're not going to know what to do in certain situations. Lockhart says 0.08 while driving a boat will feel much stronger than when you're behind the wheel of a car. But the punishment for drinking and boating is the same. It's the same rules. It's the same fines, seizure of your vessel, possible jail time. And you might not even be able to be allowed on the water again if we see you. And this weekend, local leaders will join forces to keep the water a safe place to be. And if you see anything suspicious or you think someone's boating under the influence, call your local authorities, call us. We're all out here on the water. It's the same team, same fight. Reporting in Buffalo, Marissa Perlman, News 4.